This was the first time ideas were laid out on the table. One, West Baltimore residents turn in guns to police with no penalty and stiffen drug laws. Two suggestions to be taken up with police and lawmakers. There are about 40 people here in attendance, which is the way it's been for the last three meetings. And while most are residents, there are some that are leaders of community organizations here. The problem is there are a number of meetings being held about the killings. Tonight, someone said that is not the way to a solution. And in the weeks and months ahead, we must stand up together. Most important, we must stand for one. And tonight, Baltimore police were out on the streets trying to make that happen. Here's Nightside's Brad Ganson. The new tactical unit patrols were not able to stop yet another shooting of a teenager in West Baltimore tonight. But a suspect was quickly taken into custody and taken downtown. It happened here in the 900 block North Dukeland Street. 16-year-old Maurice Blue, who lived right around the corner on Mosher, shot once in the abdomen. Blue rushed to Lutheran Hospital. Minutes later, an arrest a few blocks away. One of the department's new two-man tactical units on the scene. Throughout the city tonight, 27 special two-man police units are responding to calls, concentrating on those involving weapons. Western District is being watched closely because of the number of incidents involving teenagers. The effort began at roll call this afternoon. Tactical units gearing up to work alongside regular patrol officers. Late today, an alarm went off at a business on Frederick Avenue. A patrolman responded, and right behind him, a two-man tactical team. It turned out to be a false alarm. In another part of town, an assault and robbery at a bank. A suspect believed to be still in the neighborhood. A two-man team on the scene. And so it went, call after call. Police officials say the two-man tactical patrols will continue indefinitely. Brad Ganson, New Scene 2, Nightside.